Hi everybody, this is Julian from Hugging Face. In this video, I'm going to show you how to accelerate your transformer training jobs using Optima Mabana. Optima Mabana is an open source library from Hugging Face that leverages the Habana Gaudi Accelerator from Habana Labs. First, I'm going to show you how to fire up an EC2 instance on AWS that comes with Habana Gaudi chips. Okay, I'll show you the whole process. And then we'll connect to that instance. We'll install Optima Mabana and we'll run some training jobs for uh, natural language processing and computer vision. And we'll do that both on a single Habana chip and on multiple chips. And hopefully we'll see some nice linear scaling. Okay, let's get started. Obviously, we're going to start from the EC2 console. Okay. And the first thing you want to do, of course, is to click on Launch Instances. So let's do this. We're going to give this instance a name. How about Julesim Habana? Okay. And next, we need to pick an AMI. And to keep things super simple, I really, really encourage you to use the AMI that Habana has built. And this comes pre-installed with um, their SDK called Synapse AI. And, um, and that means we can just pull uh, a pre-installed container and run everything without having to set up uh, complex SDKs and, and dependencies. So this is really, really the best way. So let's go and select this one. Okay, and obviously if you watch this a little later, uh, it could have different versions, but at the time of recording, this is really the latest one. Okay, uh, next we select the instance type. So I don't think we want T2 micro. The one we want is DL1, which is the uh, Habana Gaudi instance family, and it comes in a single size. So no problem there. Uh, we will definitely SSH to this. So let me grab my key pair. If you don't have a key pair, of course, you should create one. Network settings, we can just create a new security group allowing SSH. This is really the only thing we'll need. Storage, uh, 50 gigs. Uh, 50 gigs should be enough, but just to be on the safe side, let's take a little more because we're going to download models and data sets and we don't want to run out of space okay and we could keep it at that but i'm gonna be you know funny here and let's try and grab a spot instance okay let's see if this works obviously we'll get a better discount and we're not going to be needing it but i'll just assign a role to this uh, you know, in case you want to pull data from S3 or access other services. Um, but again, I don't think we'll really need this here. Okay. And yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, so we should launch the instance, which of course is hidden. <laughs> so let's get out of the way. Click on the launch instance. And now we're good to go. So after a minute or two, I can see my instance is running which means I was actually able to grab uh, a spot instance. So that's great. Uh, we can see the, the spot request has been fulfilled here. And if we look at savings, here we go. Um, yeah, this is awesome, you know, 70% savings. So instead of paying $13.11 per hour, I'm only paying $3.93, so that's, that's really cool. Really love Spot. And so any chance you get, of course, you should try and use Spot instances. Okay, so now let's actually connect to this thing. Here it is. Let's grab the TNS name for it. Okay, and now we should be able to SSH. So SSH, my key. And this is an Ubuntu instance, so uh, we're using the uh, Ubuntu username. And here we are. 
Okay, so we are connected to this machine. Uh, we can check with HL SMI, which is kind of the equivalent of NVIDIA SMI for Havana. Uh, we should be able to see our accelerators, and for now, they do nothing, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're going to keep them busy in a minute. Okay, um, so the next step is to run um, the uh, the Docker command that will pull the pre-installed Docker container, okay, so that we don't have to mess with anything. Uh, and I'll just copy paste, and I will uh, I will put all these again in the video description. Don't worry. And what do we do here? So Docker run uh, some technical parameters, blah 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 blah, and we pull uh, this container for. Um, uh, Synapse A161 and PyTorch 112. Okay, so let's just run this thing. And once we have that, uh, we can actually start running code. Okay, so it's going to take a minute. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's not super fascinating. So let this thing complete and I'll be right back. We've downloaded and run the container. Okay, so now we're inside the container. Okay. And the next thing you want to do is, of course, to install Optimum Habana, right? So as you would expect, we can find this on GitHub. And um, I encourage you, of course, to go in and check out the repository. Uh, you'll find some examples, some documentation. Um, and of course, we'll uh, you know highlight the key things during the demo, okay? So let's just go and clone this repo real quick okay so clone the repo and install optimum Madonna so here I, I, I'm here I'm installing from source um, of course uh, you could pip install optimum Madonna but you know I like to be on the bleeding edge so hopefully nothing blows up and um, now we have optimum Madonna installed so the next step is to bring my own code. Uh, and first, we're going to start with uh, an NLP example. I'm going to train uh, a text classification model on Amazon reviews. And long story short, we want to classify product reviews according to the star rating from one to five, right? Again, uh, I have a whole bunch of content on this, uh, on this use case. It's actually a full workshop. I'll put the links in the video description, but um, keeping things short, we'll just clone the repo and um, bringing some code in here. Okay. And go inside our code directory here. Uh, last step is I have a couple of requirements that I need here. Of course, the transformers library and more things so let's just make sure we have all that stuff okay i like to show all the steps because you know i want to make sure you can reproduce all of this and that saves you from asking me questions all right okay we're good to go so uh, so let me show you what we're going to do here maybe i can zoom in a little more it easier for you okay uh, so first of all let me show you the vanilla code right because this is about accelerating stuff so before we worry about accelerating uh, we should worry about you know training and so this is the uh, the vanilla code that I'm using here right and it's very very simple because I couldn't do complicated anyway so what am I doing here? Uh, importing some uh, some libraries, of course. Uh, I'm gonna fine tune Distilled Bird. Uh, you can try other models, but you know Distilled Bird is uh, is a good starting point. It's uh, nice and small, gives me a good baseline. I'm gonna fine tune for one epoch. I have five labels, right, for my product reviews because one star to five star, learning rate, training batch size, blah blah blah. Okay, uh, the data set, and the data set is actually on the hub, 
it's a processed version of the Amazon uh, uh, shoe review data set. And I guess we could take a look. Here it is. It's a subset, basically. Um, okay. Oh, no, that's the model. Sorry. Here, here's the data set. Uh, okay. So, you know, I just removed columns that I didn't want and, you know, that kind of stuff. So we've got the text review, these are actually shoe reviews, and I've got the label, which is from zero to four, okay, because labels need to start at zero. That was part of the pre-processing I did, and uh, and that still gives me five classes, right? Zero to four. So that's the, uh, the data set I'm working on. Again, if you want to understand everything I did before, I'll include the link in the video description. Okay, so loading the data set. Uh, and then uh, my compute metrics function to give me detailed metrics for each of the classes. The downloading the model, downloading the tokenizer, tokenizing the data set, right? Business as usual here. Training arguments, putting everything together. Uh, the, the, the hyperparameters, number of epochs, etc. And then the trainer with the model, the tokenizer, the arguments, the metrics function, and the two data sets. And then call train, and then call evaluate. Okay, so if I run this, uh, well, you know, like this, of course, it's going to run its proper transformer code. But what I want to do is to run this much faster, right? And so one of the ways to do this is to use Habana Gaudi. So I won't go into the chip. <laughs> I'm probably not the right person to do this anyway. But I, you know, I highly encourage you to go and, and read the uh, Habana Gaudi website. Uh, they have a whole bunch of information on, on the chip, on the SDK, and generally on why this thing is super fast. And we have the Hugging Face logo even. So great. Another reason to go check it out. Right? And of course, in the documentation, you'll find information about the, you know, the, the built-in containers and, and you know, what if you don't want to use the container but install all the SDK yourself? Uh, they have you covered, okay? Um, so go and check this stuff out. Uh, lots of uh, good things to learn here, okay? Uh, and let me go back to my terminal here. So that's my code. So I guess the main question is what do I need to do to run this? on Habana Gaudi, right? How much rewriting do I need to do? Um, and as you probably know, hardware acceleration is super complicated and you know, you could, using the usual techniques, you could spend weeks or months just tweaking the model and diving into the framework, et cetera, et cetera. And what, none of that stuff here, okay? None of that stuff here, as you will see. So what we need to do is just to change a few lines of code. Whoops, excuse me here. Yes, that's the proper name. Um, a few lines of code in our script, okay? And you, I know what you're thinking. It's like, ah, oh, come on, he's, he's overdoing it. So before we look at the code, let me just say, okay, let's compare the vanilla trading script and the actual training script for Havana. Okay, so here's the diff. Okay, so what are we doing? We're using those two objects from uh, Optimum Habana, Gaudi Trainer and Gaudi Training Arguments. And uh, yeah, you already know what I'm going to do here. Right, um, I need a config file for my model okay, to set parameters for the Gaudi chip. You don't have to write it. It's uh, provided by uh, our Habana friends on the Hugging Face Hub. Uh, well, why don't we take a look right now? Although, you know, you don't really need to look at that stuff, but inside the Habana hoard, uh, you'll find the, the config files for the supported models. Okay, so we have distilled bird. And here's the config file. And of course, you can go and read the Habana doc and tweak that thing to death, right? Uh, but I'm not going to do that today. <laughs> I'm going to keep it simple. And honestly, I don't know what to tweak right now. So let's just keep it simple. Okay, uh, we're replacing the training arguments with the Gaudi training arguments. 
Okay, we're saying, hey, use Havana and, you know, make it fast and use that config file. And then we're replacing trainer with Gaudi trainer. Okay, and that's it. So that's all it takes to adapt your vanilla code for Havana. Okay, and it took me 10 minutes on the first try. But as you know, I'm very slow. So it should take you two minutes, right? And that's about it. So once we have that, well, uh, we can just run stuff, right? So why don't we just run this script just like a Python script, okay? And of course, it's going to download the model. It's going to download the data set, right? So good thing we have some storage in here. And then it's going to grab one of those uh, eight Gaudi chips and it's going to launch our training job. Okay. And that's about it. And we'll see how long that takes. Okay. And then we'll run the same on the eight chips and we'll see what kind of acceleration we get. Okay. So now it's starting. And as we can see, it's going to run for about six minutes or something. So let me just pause the video and I'll be back. So we see total training runtime, 536 seconds. We see loss, we see memory usage on the, uh, on the Habana chip. Uh, we have some metrics in the log as well. We just ran for a single epoch, so it's probably not super relevant. Okay, yeah, we see... Uh, we see the F1, we see accuracy, etc., etc. right? Okay. And of course the model is saved and I could push it back to the hub. You know, Optima Mabana is, uh, is fully integrated with, uh, with the Transformers library and the, the hub. So, um, you know, and uh, the, I could just push to hub just like I would push to hub with the, with the trainer API. Okay. So, seven minutes or what, what was it no eight minutes something okay so um yeah eight uh yeah 856 so how about we run the same on the full on the full eight abana gabi accelerators right because we just used one for now so maybe you're worried that i'm gonna go into some crazy distributed training code you know usually when you want to do that stuff again you would have to change your code and um and you know of course that the frameworks you know pytorch and tensorflow they give you nice libraries to do that stuff but here in fact we're just going to use a ready-made script okay uh, and i think that's the really the simplest way to do it so we'll just be able to run exactly the same code right because we have a helper code in the optimum repo. Yeah, maybe. Let me show it like that. And uh, and this script is called Gaudi spawn, spawn Gaudi spawn .py. Okay, and the only thing we have to do is just run it, uh, give it the number of accelerators we want to use. So here we'll use eight. Uh, decide whether we want to use MPI for distributed training or deep speed, which is one of the recent, adip um, recent additions to uh, Optima Mabana, and our training script, okay? Same one we used for, um, for standalone training, okay? So I'll stick with MPI for now. Uh, I guess I'll show you deep speed in a, in a future video. So that's it, um, no code change. Let's run this again, okay? So now it's gonna grab, of course, the eight chips going to use the same data set and the same uh, model. Everything's been loaded before. And it should fire the job up in a few seconds. So let's see how that works. OK, so after a warm up, we see this is really running in about let's say, 1 minute and 30 seconds. Um, this is a tiny data set. It's only 90,000 product reviews. Um, so there's kind of a, you know, startup time that doesn't get accelerated, but if you run this on, um, on a bigger data set, I've actually run it on about 400,000 reviews and we get near perfect linear scaling, meaning, uh, this job is actually almost eight X faster 
than the, the single Gaudi job. Here we're not going to get exactly that because, you know, again, that startup time doesn't get, uh, you know, amortized, so to speak, over the training job. But we're going to get close. We're going to get at least uh, 6x or something, right? Uh, yeah, well, yeah, 1 minute 30. Okay. So again, it's going to run. Yeah, it's going to run evaluation. Uh, that's going to take a you know, minute or so. But we can see that um, not only do we just need to change a couple of objects in our vanilla training code to accelerate it with Havana, we really literally don't need to change anything to distribute the job from you know, one chip to eight chips. And I think that's, that's really, really impressive. Uh, typically, with other architectures, uh, you would need to tweak something and, you know, that's not so easy to do. Uh, and yeah, for uh, large enough jobs, you do get near perfect linear scaling. Okay. I guess I'll run some bigger experiments in future videos, but here out of the box, it's already very, very good. Okay. Okay. So that's it for NLP. And now I want to show you computer vision because now it's supported by Optimum Abana. And we won't even have to write a single line of code. This time I will just use one of the uh, scripts that are present in the Optimum Abana repo. And of course, we can use different models with those. So that's pretty cool because if you don't have transformer code, you can use those ones out of the box. Okay, so let me reset my terminal and I'll show you computer vision. All right, let's do computer vision. So going to the Habana repo, uh, the optimum of Banner repo uh, in the examples directory, we see a whole bunch of examples. And these are really cool because, of course, you can run them out of the box to get a, a quick taste of the, of the, the service. Um, but you can also customize those scripts very easily uh, with your own models and, uh, and your own data sets. Okay? So that's the one I'm going to use here. So I'm still inside my uh, container, same as before. I've just moved to the appropriate folder for, for the examples. And um, here's the image classification example. Let's make sure maybe we have our requirements set up. Okay, good. And now I can just go and run this example, right? So long command line, let me break it down. So of course we're in the script. The model name we're going to work with this uh, google vision transformer flavor and of course we need to pass the vision transformer config file which we can find on the abana organization same as before okay here it is and what else are we passing here? Of course, we're passing a data set, um, the Food 101 data set, which has a lot of images representing 101 different classes of food. So chances are your favorite one is in there. And it's, it's quite large, so it's a good one to, to run on and accelerate. And we're going to train for five epochs. Right? And the rest, uh, well, you can figure out. It's not so important. Okay, let's just run this. So again, we start with a single chip training. And then we'll try training on the eight chips. Okay? So this is going to run for a while. It's a five gigabyte data set. And, um, and the training job should run for about, you know, 30 minutes or something. So, of course, we're not going to wait for that. Let it run. And I'll be back in half an hour. I guess I can have coffee in the meantime. See you in a minute. The training job completed in about 38 minutes, as we can see here, with an accuracy of 86%, okay, which is not a bad start. So now let's run the same. Let me clear this. And let's run the same using eight Gaudi chips. Okay, so we'll use the Gaudi spawn script again. Okay, set world size to eight, still use MPI. 
and we use the same model, same config file, okay? So exact same thing, except this time we're using eight chips instead of one. This job has trained in eight minutes and 25 seconds. So that's about, yeah, that's about, let's say five times faster than the, uh, the single accelerator job. Again, keep in mind, you know, we've only trained for five epochs. And so um, the, you know, you don't get the full speed up because of the initial, you know, warm up and setup. So if you train for longer, uh, you will get, uh, you will get closer to, um, to linear scaling, but this is still a very, very respectable speed up. Okay. Uh, the last thing I want to show you is how do we switch from this model to another model, right? We would just we could uh, switch we to um, the SWIN model, which uh, uh, tends to be better than the, the vision transformer model. And so we can just run the same script, uh, passing the, the name, uh, the ID of the model on the hub, and of course the appropriate config file uh, in the Abana organization. So uh, we'll just run the eight uh, Gaudi version right away. And, uh, and see how we do there. Okay, right. so this one completed in 12 minutes 27 with an accuracy of 90 plus, which is very good. So I've got the old numbers here. So the other one did um, eight minutes and 30 seconds or something. And it had a lower accuracy of uh, just under 80% which could be an artifact. Maybe if I train for a couple more epochs, it's gonna be it's gonna be higher. But uh, yeah, you can see the the benefit of work of working with the latest models. Uh, of course, they just get to higher accuracy quicker. And keep in mind, we only train for five epochs and twelve minutes, so um, that's already uh, that's already very very good accuracy in just a few minutes. So if you can train for you know, maybe 30 minutes or an hour, uh, you'll certainly get even better. And, um, and, you know, feel free to compare those training times to, uh, to what you see on, uh, on GPUs. Um, this is not about benchmarking. Um, I could probably do a benchmark. It'd be funny. I'd make more friends on LinkedIn and elsewhere. Um, but you know, trust me when I say this is quite faster than, um, than GPU training and uh and with uh with the same level of accuracy but do your own benchmarks and come to your own conclusions okay well that's really what i wanted to uh to cover today so um uh show you optimum abana um and how it uses abana gaudi to speed transformer trainings and uh we saw how to do this on aws with a dl1 instance and then we looked at an NLP use case with Distilled Bert uh, and our own custom code that we adapted for Gaudi. And, and then we used off-the-shelf scripts for computer vision. We used the vision transformer. We used a SWIN to train a classification model on the nice food 101 data set. Um, feel free to reuse those. Feel free to uh, train your own jobs on your own data sets. Of course, I'll put all the links in the video description. I hope this was fun and I hope you learned a few things and I'll see you next time. Keep rocking.